you liked the video, it will be my honor if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there are a lot more figure diorama photography as well as figure height comparison at the end of this video. So please watch and enjoy until the end. Now let's begin. Guys, 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 I can explain. I can explain. It's Sailor Moon. <laughs> Hello everyone, how is everybody doing today? And today, I am reviewing Sailor Moon, the entire 5 roster. Well, there's more than 5 Sailor Moons or Sailor Warriors, but uh, the main 5 that started everything. Do I need all 5? Yeah! <laughs> of course! It's like, it's like say Power Ranger and you only collect the Red Ranger? Come on, you need all 5 plus the Green Ranger. The same applies here. You need all five, right? Come on, guys. But anyhow, hello everyone. I am going to be reviewing the entire roster of the first season of Sailor Moon, which is obviously Sailor Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. It is not a new sculpt. This entire Sailor Moon is a new release from Bandai. It's all figure art, but it is not a new sculpt. It is technically a very, very, very old figure. They have not updated anything. The only difference is it's an animation color edition. That's all. <laughs> so if you have all these figures from the past, the only difference is just the coloring and you're not missing much. So. I say if you have them, there's no point of you buying it, but for those who don't have them, here are the reviews. So let's go with Sailor Moon. And the box is very, how do I say, um, the style is very Japanese uh, shoujo manga, or I say the lady or female manga book stylish, very cute pink and her side like so and I really like um, the design it looks really nice am I gonna think it's going to be outdated not too sure but I'm a little bit worried it would be because this is this came like how many years ago like s a very long time ago and there's mercury and uh, which sailor moon do you like most I like Mercury. She is my top pick. And uh, well, first time I kind of was attracted to Mars because I like black hair more than anything else. And then I didn't like her personality too much, too aggressive. And I do like just like intelligent, you know, people a lot. And uh, doesn't mean that I don't like anything else. I just get attracted more. And she is one. <laughs> and not only that, she's, she is more... Uh, if I say she is more feminine, then, you know, at this phase, you know, SJW or younger people might get upset. But she was very um, lady lady in that time. So I really liked, say, uh, the Mercury the best. And that doesn't mean I don't like... Mars. She is very energetic. She is definitely like, well, Sailor Moon was the driving force, but she's the one who kept pushing. So I really like Mars. I think my brother liked Mars a lot too. But for some reason, the Mars box is significantly bigger than the the others. And here comes the Jupiter, the you know, elder lady elder sister like character who's you know kind of comforting everybody as you know that's okay we, we can do it kind of thing very nice nice um, character I like her too and I was, I was a little bit shocked because she was like so happy 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 I'm also like screw you kind of thing. <laughs> but very anime accurate then we got Venus, and I did also like Venus a lot. I kind of went back and forth with Mercury and Venus, and like, oh, I like Venus more, I like Mercury more, but the only reason I was like, 
attracted to Venus is because she kind of was the first Sailor Moon, I think. <laughs> now, speaking of fine, uh, here is Venus. And for an old, old figure, I think she looks really good. I was surprised. Actually, mm, I know that Sailor Warriors has a super long leg, but it's, it looks a bit too long. I don't know. Anyhow, I'll, I'll open the, the box, but beforehand, I'm just going to go with the... Uh, the hand because I don't think I could show each hand separately. It's just too much uh, uh, time that we consume. So she comes with a open hand that's pre-installed. She gets a fist. She also gets a pointing hand on the right. She also gets a how do I say you know kind of open hand, and then she gets a this kind of hand where she can use her powers and full spread hand, and then she comes with a cool sunglasses. Um, hair that you can swap and also she comes with a hand that's holding onto her sunglass and yep you get four face sculpt but I was told that better later now Jupiter come out we have also a spread out open hand pre-installed fist hand uh, fully open hand and then grabbing hand and she has the well that uh, her special power using hand and then she also does come with a, a this kind of hand which I'll probably show that in detail a little more and another pointing ish hand and she gets this antenna coming out the hair that you can swap and she also gets four face plates now I don't understand why Mars box was so big a big while well, there's nothing specific to grant her that size because there's nothing inside. Uh, the only thing that's probably, the only reason that I can think is her, her hair is coming out quite wide, but then Venus also have a long hair coming inside. So I don't know why that was so big, but that's okay. She come with a less hand. It's, again, she's pretty installed open hand. She comes with a, a hand that's dedicated to hold on to her, her jutsu, um, how do I say, jutsu paper right here. Now she gets a pointing hand and then another pointing hand, a fully spread hand and a fist and I think that's also another holding hand or something. But I'll go into the uh, details and she also comes with three or actually four face and then Mercury she come with a and she also come with a cool visor kind of thing and I, I like that a lot I don't know I, I do like glass a lot and tech girl very cool so she come with four face again pre-installed with a open hand and then she gets a well fist fully open hand and uh, hand closed but uh, open hand and then typing hand and another, well, soft, gently closed hand. And let's go to the main protagonist, Sailor Moon. And she comes with total four face sculpt. And just a, I forgot the name of that, uh, baton. <laughs> oh, and I was surprised that she doesn't come with the tiara that she can throw. Hmm. Now she comes with, again, open hand, pre installed, two fists. Uh, pointing finger hand that she could always use against her op opponent and another um, well, attack this kind of hand that they always use and then another hand going like that and now a dedicated hand to hold on to her um, baton right there so that's a lot I'll start opening the figure and again, I am very sure this is all going to be fast forward. My god, finally it's done. Oh, 
Jesus, that was a very big nightmare. I would not want to do that again. But yeah, here are all the five original Sailor Warriors. And what do you guys think? I don't know. I'm just I'm a little bit tired to, to open it. But you get a dedicated um, heart-like uh, base. And without the base, these characters aren't not that capable of standing because their foot surface area is so small and the body is quite top heavy especially for uh, Mars and Venus her hair is pulling them back so much that they're gonna fall that they're not gonna stand on their own and they're all high heels too so without the base they're not going anywhere they're not standing if they're gonna be like a log <laughs> onto the ground so so yeah, the base is mandatory for them, and uh, I'm just gonna turn them around so that you can see they figure backside easier. And it's like they just met right now. <laughs> but there we go. So yeah, um, they are very outdated uh, figure and. Yes, the Sailor Warriors have a very long leg, very, very, very long leg. But I think it's a little too long, even if it's anime accurate. I don't think it's that long. I, I remember the anime, they had a long leg, but I don't remember them to be having this long because it's well over their, their torso. So yeah, like say, I don't want to compare or if I don't want to you know play around too much making it look weird but the leg lens is look at it it's like that no that's like insanely tall like the leg and if I make her run that is a weird body um proportion it's like way too long and again the uh the how do i say the surface area as you can see it's not like it's not a it's kind of how do they curved of course it's, it's high heel so on so with that surface area was this tall figure maybe mercury can because she doesn't have a long hair so maybe she, i think she can stand straight so that's okay. Stand straight. Uh, yeah, she does stand straight. Nice. As you can see, oh, there you go. She's standing on her own. But if I, she can have, no. Now I think they are using the same body mode. Yep, they're all using the same body mode. I, I can see from her uh, the scart sculpt, it's identical. Everything's identical. Even they, their uh, how do I say, um, scarf is identical. Her, their leg is identical, other than that the boot area. So let me check if um, Usagi is using the same. Nope, they're different, but that's because of the design. But I, like I said, the skirt. Um, design the sculpt and everything they're the, all the same nothing different but let me check Jupiter because she's supposed to be taller as a character so I'm just gonna try to make her stand straight and see if she is actually I think her torso is longer so she is taller but not because of her yeah the only difference is they made the to uh, torso longer, that's all. Her leg lens and everything are the same. Now, I forgot the, the name of the cat, but look at it. It's identical sculpt. Like, nothing's changed. So, this, for actually, the white one has a slightly bigger head, maybe? I'm sorry, I haven't been watching them for a very long time, so I don't remember their name. I don't remember most of the power they have. But there was the same sculpt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do one character articulation because they're all the same, and I'm gonna use uh, 
Mercury because not because she's my favorite because her hair is the shortest and that makes it much easier for you know articulation so she probably got the best articulation out of the all so let's see tilt 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 looks nope no looking up or down oh my god this is very outdated so the only thing she can do is tilt tilt look side by side no looking up or down so yeah that kind of sucked uh, her elbow goes up that much 360 it comes in decent it goes back that much and uh, her elbows like so goes up and down her uh, that much ab crunch you can hear the the creaking of the plastic so yeah that around that much not bad but not good um, now I don't want people to think I'm kind of weird person but I gotta do it uh, she splits that much she kicks that much actually she kicks way more than I thought and knee goes that much and Her ankle goes around that much. And there is absolutely no foot articulation because it's impossible. So that's all she can do. She can do okay. <laughs> we get <sighs> the problem making face of Sailor Moon. Man, every time I see this, I'm like, you again. My god, I don't want you to be my sister. I don't want you to be my anything. <laughs> but, yeah. And she's like, this one is, is like, I'm gonna punish you, kind of face. And you get the, the determined, determined face. But I really wanted, you know, the tiara accessory, but because she used that a lot, and but we don't get that. So that's a little bummer. Determined face, Sailor Moon, which is very rare. <laughs> but here we go. Mercury, we also get her final attack face. And we also oh, get a determined face, which we see her all the time. And we also get the very, I'm happy <laughs> face. <laughs> so it's, it's, you know, it's funny because her eyes compared to everybody else it's different you know what's so different is it's like say you see everybody's face say here venus come here venus face is more like you know sparkle you can see more light and everybody else is the same thing they got light in their eye but like mercury doesn't have any light it's just it's like pitch like she doesn't have a soul kind of thing. She's like, I'm. I look smile, but my 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 soul isn't here kind of thing. <laughs> but um, she comes with a uh, a cool kick-ass visor um, hair, and that's probably why I, I I swapped to Mercury away from Venus because um, it's like two in one for me <laughs> because. Venus does come with a, a dedicated uh, kick-ass sunglass here, but then Mercury come with a, a sci-fi cool-ass sunglass visor, so that's why uh, I, you know, move into her instead. And she comes with a, a small little computer gadget right here, right here, very simple. And then she also get a pouch like so. And goodbye, kitty cat. And if you're wondering, the kitty cat does have a a tail articulation. So that is the only articulation they get. Actually, I'm wrong. They got a head articulation too. Ah, the hair is so hard. <laughs> Look at it. It's like it's, it's a weird way of uh, of incorporating the whole thing. Ah, figure back then sucked. And you get the determined sci-fi look, which is awesome. There you go. It's 
her sci-fi techie version. <laughs> now, Mars comes with her, like, how do I say, Jutsu using face, just before she used her fire. And she had the most cool ass, you know, pulled when she was using her attack. I liked it a lot. Now we have this determined face. And you also have, I'm gonna destroy you face. So she come with the, the well, paper jutsu right here. But, and it says, uh, Akujo Taisa, meaning that bad spirits go away kind of thing. But there's no dedicated hand to hold on to this. Instead, you get her kick-ass uh, jutsu using hand, which I'm gonna try to swap it and see if it's going to work. I think it does, of course, or else why are you gonna have that hand in there? But but uh, this is the old figure, so I'm not, like, my hope toward it is near none. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's really a bit of, yeah, it's really a bit of squee. It's not like it's engineered properly. It's, like, more like a done-by-force kind of thing. Yeah, that was a cool pose that she had. Jupiter come with a kick-ass angry face, which I like a lot. Come with a, a happy, happy face. Yay! I won the lottery! Or like, ah, yay! Everybody's happy! I don't need to worry, kind of face. Because she's the one who's kind of like trying to avoid problem all the time. Yeah, everybody, you know, quiet up, kind of thing. And her determined face. And then you get this awesome antenna head. I really like that design. It's like antenna coming out. It's awesome. Now she comes with a grappling head, hand, which none of the other figure comes with. And but I remember she she's more like a um, this hand when she was using her special moves. So let's swap her head. I don't remember the antenna being that long, but yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Due to her lack of articulation, I can't fully do the, I can't fully do the pose. But yeah, that's how she's supposed to do her attack. But again, I can't fully have her do that. Lack of uh, engineering back then, but it's sufficient at that time. Not today, but that period it was okay. Super attack face, yelling face, that's my cake, and yay! Idol, I love to see idols. I think she was an idol, wasn't she? I think she was. But, she come with a dedicated, you know, I'm gonna show who I am face, or not face, sorry, hand. She didn't show her face to the, the sailor warriors, but then she took it off. And I, I wanted her to keep it, but after that, for some reason, she never put it on again. So, yeah, that was a disappointment. Because she was quite cool with the sunglass on. <laughs> she looks really weird. I don't know, she looked more, you know, badass uh, with the sunglass in the, the anime, but she looks a little weird. <laughs> But here are the figures. Um, would I recommend the figures? Um, I don't know. It's not like you're getting anything new out of it. Um, if you miss, you know, collecting them and really want them, yeah, go ahead. Uh, are they impressive? Back then, they probably were, but for now, the technology and engineering went so well that they are completely outdated. Um, yeah, with the current technology and engineering style and so on, they could have made much advanced version. But that's not, you know, what we got, sadly. Bandai wa wanted to milk the whole Sailor Moon by just rehashing the saying. Man, it took me quite a long time for me to pull all five characters and I don't think I'll be doing this again. <laughs> it is so much work. 
It looks like and these uh, figure not like they have a a good you know articulation. They're they're really outdated figure, and uh, their knees seem to be very wobbly, so they can't um, hold too well. And I think that's why they have the base because without the base, they really ain't going to stand too well. But um, the head sculpt, the, the faceplate and the hair, it got easier to pop out um, after the first try. So uh, definitely the second trial and the third trial, it will get much easier. But man, posing one character is, you know, quite energy taking and then posing all five. Oh God, no, I'm not going to do this again. <laughs> But here you go, and I hope uh, you kind of enjoy seeing the classic Sailor Moon pose. Thank you very much for watching my figure unboxing photography review. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Currently, there are only 6% of my audience who are subscribed, and I feel a little bit lonely here, so your subscription will give me inspiration to go on further. Thank you again, and see you all soon! Ah, so be there at Tirundayo.